So hello everybody, I cannot believe it, MIDI 2.0 is really a thing and it's happening right now. About one year ago I did a very critical look at MIDI 2.0, is it really a thing, is it really happening? And back then there were first signs that it could come into play and you could be able to use it not anytime soon but it will happen and now some things really show up so i thought it's time to have a new look at what's now possible so jumping in as usual it gets a bit nerdy but stay tuned there is information in this video for everyone not only for the nerds but nevertheless, let's have a look at the big picture. So to make MIDI 2.0 work, we need a lot of things. So the baseline here is the specifications. And these are now updated and finalized. So we are good to go. One thing a bit pending is the network. So currently we only have MIDI via USB. If you remember, MIDI 2.0 is neutral from a transport protocol. So which means it's a specification only for the data and how this data is transported is up to other specifications. For example, there is one for USB and there is one upcoming for network and there are more pending and more ideas how you can send MIDI around the world. Most interesting for us musicians is that you want to play music actually with keyboards, which can talk MIDI 2.0, currently then via USB. But what you nowadays do is not only using your hardware keyboards, you want to record or play music with your computer, be it the PC, Mac or Linux system. So the operating system needs to support it as well for the developers to implement their host, which normally is a door, but could also be a non-recording host and also the plugin manufacturers and as well some helper frameworks, which make life easier for developers. All these things need to talk MIDI 2.0 to make it work. So now let's have a look at all these different details. What is already there nowadays? So let's start with the funny stuff. Let's look at hardware we can buy today. And just by incident today, when I started to do this video, Roland announced the firmware update 2.0 for the A88 Mark II, which was announced in 2020. So three years ago as a MIDI 2.0 capable device, which was simply impossible back then because there was not even the specification available. But today they really updated it so they can really hold up the torch for being the first one for having a device which you can buy on the market, which really speaks MIDI 2.0. In between, Cork announced as well a device. It's called the Key Stage. Also, it comes with poly aftertouch. It looks to my taste a little bit boring, but at least it has in contrast to the Roland, which has no display at all here. It has some displays, which means the MIDI CI, the, the support for seeing parameters from a plugin, for example, on the device is possible on this device, which is a world's first as well. But up to my knowledge, you cannot buy it right now, but I guess soon. Let's switch back to the geeky stuff. So we jump onto the operating system. Last time, if you did not see my previous video, it still contains a lot of information about MIDI 2.0. Watch that maybe before to be up to par with what we discuss here. So back then already Mac OS as well as iOS, which I was not sure about back then, but it was also the case, support talking MIDI 2.0. And on a Mac, you can already happily develop MIDI 2.0 applications. And by the way, all those links are down in the descriptions and you don't have to type it here. So just check out the descriptions in this video. Also Android in version 13 came already with MIDI 2.0 via USB transport. And yeah, you can also check out here the documentation if you're interested in that. Since then, quite some things happens. A lot of things actually happens. And Linux now supports also MIDI 2.0 in the kernel version 6.5. And this is already now out in the wild. For example, in latest Ubuntu 23.10, which was released in mid-October, it comes with MIDI 2.0 as well. And if you want to see the geeky stuff inside out, which also talks about all the available function methods, you can read that up here in this link. So Windows is the one who is a bit pending and Pete Brown from Microsoft, who's always a good source for inside information, 
tells us that they are heavily working on that. And you can already check out the code and the API on GitHub. So there is an open GitHub repo now. So it's opened up, which I talked in the last video. It's closed, but now it's open up. So you can already have a look how this will work. And they plan to bring this into the real Windows system next year. And in spring, if you're on the Windows Insider programs, you should have access to testing these things. And what for him is important that still the old APIs and the old interfaces keep on working, which is always a thing with Windows that you can run really, really old software, for example, MediOx and stuff like this, which will continue to work. And this is also on a priority for them. And when this is working nicely, they will bring this also to the public. So moving on to developer frameworks. So the most famous one as usual is Choose, and they are not ready yet with MIDI to the door. They're working on it, but in the next update 7.1, they want to also provide MIDI 2.0 support. And this clearly depends on is Windows available then and already part of the pictures or not. Another open source media library is LibreMIDI, which already contains MIDI 2.0 support, but clearly not yet for Windows, but for Linux and Mac, it's already in there. So before we look into the funny side with hosts, let's also talk about plugin interfaces. So plugin interfaces, the most still sadly most famous VST plugin interface in 3.7 also now supports MIDI 2.0 and the much preferred clap interface out of the box since it's a pretty new one in 1.0 already supports MIDI 2.0. And the more niche one, LV2, can support MIDI 2.0 if you add an extension to that. So it's not in the main thing, but you can quite easily also add MIDI 2.0 to LV2. And I have no real idea about AAX because I also do not care about it, but whatever. <laughs> as much as I could find out, it's not supported yet in AAX. Not sure if this will ever happening or be a thing. Back to the more funny things, looking at hosts, what is available today? is Logic for Mac and also for iOS, which is not surprising because it's only on Mac and you don't need to support with that software multi-platform because most of the doors nowadays are multi-platform, at least for Mac and Windows, but also several, for example, Bitwig support Linux as well. And they need to wait clearly till all operating systems are ready or otherwise they will have a mixed user experience and I think nobody will go for that. And something surprising is Multitrack Studio, which is also more a niche door, but across my way now several times already with Clap because it supports also Clap. And now as well, MIDI 2.0 and MIDI CI, but clearly only on Mac since they are waiting also for the Windows support. Nevertheless, quite surprising news. So which means you can buy a real hardware now. You can run already, even it's the one I don't like. <laughs> so, but you could use Logic, for example, with MIDI 2.0 already. So it's a thing and it's happening. And I think clearly when Windows finally is ready early, 2024, which is also just around the corner, we will see more doors popping up and I guess everybody will support this in the plugin. So MIDI to do it thing is finally a thing. So tell me your experience about it. What do you think about MIDI to do? Will this help you or not? And until next time, make some funky music. <laughs>